Hello. First of all, I'm just going to let you know I did this video in Spanish, but I wanted to do it in English because I think it's pretty cool and I wanted to share my story about this. So, here we go. I'd like to make my official announcement for the nomination for President 2024 in Honduras. Why do I want to do this? Because I have presidential bloodline. So I found out. Let me explain. A couple years ago, my sister did a 23andMe DNA test because she got it for Christmas from her mother-in-law. And so she did it. Her and her husband did it. Blah. Okay. She asked me if I've ever done one. I was like, no, I've never done one because I didn't need to. Why didn't I need to? Because I know who my parents are. My mom and my dad. I know who my sister is. It, 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 our, our, our story is very simple. So I thought. But she's like, you should do one so we can compare. You know, see how alike we are. See if we're from the same place, DNA wise. I was like, all right, fine. Because, you know, genetically we are different, obviously. She's shorter, I'm taller. Uh, she's more light-skinned than I am, so I was like, all right, let's do it. So I did it. The results came back. As I figured, I am more uh, European than she is. I am more Spanish European than she is, hence I'm a little taller. She's more indigenous American, Central America, which explains her, her uh, height a little bit. Um, so yeah, it was it was interesting. I mean, if look look at yeah, hold on. let me scoot over the camera so you can see the results. I mean, you can see my results. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's interesting how it breaks it down percentage wise. You know, pop 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 pop. So, but out of this, I found out I have 1,499 cousins, like second cousins, third cousins, twice removed, all that good stuff. Sorry, the lawnmower is going, but we got to do this right now. A couple of them have reached out to me. One is a guy who's from Brazil who lives in Florida. He's, I guess, my cousin, so me and him have been talking through what's up. Another one is a girl who was born in Honduras and was adopted when she was little, and she's used 23andMe to find out who her parents are because, you know, her biological parents put her for adoption. She has communicated with me and her talked over. We started on texting through uh, 23andMe and now we do <clears throat> through Facebook Messenger. We've connected through Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. <clears throat> and she has, because of 23andMe, found her real mom, her, her sisters, her aunt, stuff like that. So it's, it's awesome. Now, how did this affect me? What did it do for me? Well, this brought up a conversation between my mom and my dad. My dad is not very vocal about family, especially his family. Like I know most of my family on my mom's side. My dad's side, I know some of them. Um, you know, but I don't know a lot of history. Like I know my grandma, I know my aunt. I remember some of my uncles. I know I've met them all when I was little, but when I came to the US when I was five, I haven't seen some of them, so. Um, but my dad's not very vocal. That's it, up to my grandma, that's it. Well, this results has brought a conversation between them, and my dad's like, casually says, I think my great-grandfather was president to the United, uh, I think my great-grandfather was president to Honduras. And my mom's like, what? He's like, yeah. But, there's a problem. The thing was, he was married when he met my great-grandmother, and when she got pregnant, he supposedly, allegedly, paid somebody to marry her so there wasn't a scandal. Of course, they tell this to me. I am an inquisitive mind. You tell me something like this, I gotta find out because 
I mean, president of Honduras. I mean, who can say that? Not many people can say they're bloodline to a president. You know, it's very few of us. So, I started them digging. I asked them questions like, you got any names that you can give me that I can Google? So he gives me a name, Rafael, um, stand by. So he gives me a name, Rafael Francisco Antonio Cepeda Flores. I'm like, Google, get on my phone, put it in. When I Google that, I get another name. Rosa Argentina Cepeda Vasquez. I was like, do you know that name? He's like, I think that's my aunt's name. I was like, so I click on it. When I click on the link, it takes me to, I guess, an app or a web page called Family Tree. And in there, I find Rosa and Rafael. And I click on Rafael and I go to his information right there. And there's my grandma's name as a child of his. My grandma, my dad's aunt, and all the other aunts that he has. I've met uh, one of his other aunts too. It also has the name of his wife. I'm like, all right. So then I'm like, okay, so I start backtracking from there. Let's go back there. And I find his great, great grandmother, who is Elise, El Eloisa Flores Lagos. He's like, yes, that's her. <clears throat> I'm like, so the man that she supposedly married is Benedicto Cepeda Soto. That's where we get the Cepeda from. Because technically we're not Cepeda apparently. Because he's not really the father to Rafael, who then is the father to my grandma. So the plot starts to thicken. So I'm like, all right. So I look at my dad's grandfather's uh, date of birth. I'm like, 1898. I'm like, 1898. So we backtrack. 1898, who was president of Honduras in 1898? And so I do that, and I get a name. I'm like, Jose Policarpo Bonilla Vasquez, president of Honduras in 19, I mean, sorry, in 1895 to 1899. And I'm like, homeboy was born in 1898. So he was conceived in 1897. 1897, Policarpo Bonilla was president of Honduras. So my great, great grandfather is Policarpo Bonilla Vasquez, elected president February 1st, 1895. To February 1st, 1899. It's in my blood. Presidential blood. A month ago, I had no clue. A month ago, I was just regular Doug. I was just regular Honduras Doug. I was just son to my mom, son to my dad, brother to my sister. Now, I am presidential bloodline. Now, I'm not gonna go and try to find out, you know, if I have some inheritance or fight anything. No, I don't, I don't need that, I mean, whatever. There probably is or there isn't, I don't know. I'm not gonna sit there and try to fight old family members. On, I mean, it's, 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 this is way too, we're, we're way too past that. Like if I was his grandson, maybe, but we're way, way, way past that. I am happy. Just knowing I could be president of Honduras because it's in my blood. So, I sit here today announcing that I am putting my name in nomination for the 2024 presidential race in Honduras. Luckily, I speak Spanish. So yeah, 23 and Me has good things. I'm not gonna lie. You can find out a lot of information that you need. If you're looking for family that you never knew you had, go for it. You know, maybe they've done it and they're in the system and then you can get in the app and it tells you all the information. 
or maybe you're looking for a long lost mom or dad. You never know. Or you're just curious to see what your DNA composition is. And then you find out you have presidential bloodline. Imagine if you find out that your great 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 grandfather is George Washington or Abraham Lincoln or Theodore Roosevelt or Obama, you know? You know? You never know. But, but 23andMe tells me I have presidential blood. Well, it's a short one. Um, I was just straight up talking to you guys. I didn't, it wasn't too much hoopla, uh, but yeah. So if you like this video and you're curious about your DNA makeup, go check out 23andMe or DNA or Ancentry.com or whatever other DNA test there is out there. It's kind of fun to find out. Uh, but if you like this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, we're so close to 200. So close. I want 200 by the next video. There's a reason for it. We're coming up on the one year anniversary of vlogging. One year. And we're so close to 200. Never thought I would even get 100. So 200. Let's go. Uh, hit the bell. Ding, 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 ding. So you get notifications of the next video. Um, and comment below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And with that... See you in the next one.